I'm uh, Patrick Serreis from the uh, Imperial College uh, in uh, London and we are in London at the uh, ESC uh, TV studio and uh, I have with me uh, Shim Tan from uh, Singapore and uh, Antonio Colombo from uh, Milano to a uh, key opinion leader in the field. And the first question I, I would like to ask you is that uh, this new technology, because we are going to talk about a bioresorbable scaffold, and that's the term we use, is that technology ripe for clinical use of ready for prime time? Antonio. I, my answer is yes, it's ready for prime time, but the interventionist has to move in prime time slowly. First, he has to use in a simple lesion, and then gradually, move to more complex lesion very carefully. He has to, to understand that this device is a little more complex than the, the new generation drug eluting meta stent, but there is no question that uh, slowly every interventionist can move into complex lesion. Checking the result with IVUS, making sure that he's doing the right steps, asking uh, uh, support when needed, but the answer is yes. So the flair of the clinician and the skill of the operator will be uh, quite critical. I Same opinion? I think there's no question that uh, bioresorbable scaffold is a emerging as an alternative uh, technology to metallic DES in our current practice. However, the, there, there are a lot of uh, procedural considerations given that the stand the scaffold is really quite different from metallic DES. There are cautions that currently it should really be limited to uh, certain types of lesions that perhaps will be able to benefit more from scaffold and not all kinds of lesions. And I also think that the current iterations of uh, BRS is not the final one and they still need uh, for technological improvement. You know, Jim, every time we have a new technology, some point there is the dark side, the downside of the technology which emerge and, and could jeopardize the technology. We have mm. seen technology disappearing because mm. an unforeseen. Mm. Do you see that? Do you suspect that there is something um, potentially quote unquote dangerous that we should pay attention to? I think there are two conditions that we need to be uh, concerned with. Early scaffold failure in the form of uh, scaffold thrombosis is something that we need to be uh, careful about. I think that uh, calls upon uh, uh, procedural uh, meticulousness as well as adequate antitumbotic therapy before the uh, intervention. The second complication will be a late scaffold failure, which now seems to be one that involves both late scaffold thrombosis as well as aneurysm formations. Yeah, so that, there's a lot that's what I about. call during the symposium the late structural discontinuity, which is mm. a term which uh, um, might be tricky to handle or mm. to discover or to document. You share the same opinion, Antonio? Uh, yes, uh, I would like to add uh, that uh, in life, uh, delusion comes when you have too many expectations. So I don't believe that we should expect that uh, BRS uh, should solve any problem in interventional cardiology. Ristenosis will still be there, thrombosis will still be there, but this condition should be easier to treat and with new iteration of devices, things will get better. But don't expect life for eternal life or solution to any problem. I think it's a very wise uh, concept. So we come uh, to the next question, which is uh, difficult because uh, we are public demand today in the studio. Mm -hmm. so colleagues, uh, practitioner, clinician, and maybe even patient are listening to us. So the next question for you uh, is, uh, what is the quote-unquote ideal patient? I would say that the biggest advantage of bioresorbable scaffold over metallic DES is its potential advantages of a restoration of vessel motion as well as uh, possibly vessel remodeling. So I would consider this uh, technology in young patients and I would say that people under the age of 60 years old with no contraindications to the use of this particular scaffold probably will best benefit from this technology. Anything to add Antonio of his well said? I think below 75, you're still young. Okay, that's maybe the <laughs> final uh, word. So let's summarize, I think, to the uh, question of uh, 
ready for prime time, you said the modest yes. I think that uh, you are very alert to the technique of implantation. You are very alert to potential unknown and unforeseen. And then uh, it's a little bit unclear what is the ideal patient. We go for the young person, but Antonio consider himself as a young person, so he's uh, uh, leveling off the bar for the indication. Gentlemen, thank you very much for these uh, very straightforward uh, interview and answer. I really appreciate it. I go back to the studio. Thank you very much. Thank you for thank you. this opportunity.